In this particular workout, I am going to show you that how you can define multiple SAS macro in one line and how you can use multiple SAS macro by writing one line. In fact, you will be using double M percent. Like if you look at many times you have used single M, M percent, I will show you the usage of double M percent that how it really solves your cases. So to begin with, if you look at last time, I defined it like this. So essentially I took the data set and then I put the output into the contents data set, took the count of variable and for i equal to 1 to n, I was running it multiple times. Every time when n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, it is taking 1, 1 value and it is printing. The same thing I'll do this time pretty quickly by one line. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take where this is pipe, which is a concatenation character, strip n. So if you look at what it will do, it will create where 1, where 2, where 3, as many rows are in this data set. And similarly, it will create where tp. And just to print it, though it is available anyway, I am using here double m percent. So let me first show you that it works and then I'll show you how this is executing. So if you look at here, what is the difference between this and this? Here it is do loop and you are running, you are going through this data set again and again. But in this case, you are actually not putting this inside the do loop. It is just one SAS syntax, one data set and you will go in the data set only once. But you are going to create multiple SAS macros. Here you are creating only one SAS macro which you are using early going forward. Here you are creating multiple SAS macro var underscore one, var underscore two like that. Whereas in this approach only one variable is getting overwritten multiple times. Now how it is getting executed that's again very interesting. In reality this will execute as you know one two all those things and this double dot will actually execute as just one m percent. So in the first go, it will execute as one and this will execute as just this. So this way it will put var one, which will this. Next time it will put var two, like that. Here it is var tp one, var tp two, like that it will put. So by just one line, you are able to use all the SAS macros because here IE is changing and you are using double M percent to execute it. Let's see it you know in the execution because that what I have explained you you should be able to see it also so here is the I have submitted the SAS macro let me run it on this class data set this class data set has five variables and let's see that how it is producing the log. So in the first go, when I was just doing the old way where I was putting this whole syntax into inside a for do loop, it is executing like this. So if you look at variable is age and variable type is one, then variable is height, variable type is one. Now look at the second time when I am doing with the double quotes what is happening so first of all this double m percent resolves to just single m percent and i resolve to one and that's why this became var underscore tp one similarly if you look at here this resolve to just single i to one and that's why it became var one and when you do a var one it really it resolves to age so that's how if you look at here, by writing one line of code, you are able to create multiple SAS macro and by using double M percent, you are able to use multiple SAS macro at one place by just changing these I.